One thing I've learned as a parent, you gotta carve out your own time and your own space, just so nobody won't get killed. America, you know I spent the last three years wrestling with those doggone kids, establishing control in my house, and finally, and I do mean finally, I got things where I want them. Look at this. Bathroom. You run you some hot water in the bath, hot as you can take it, and then you pour these rocks in, and they make your ass smell springtime fresh. A little salt around the rim of the tub make you feel like a lime and a warm margarita. <gasps> Baby girl, no, go back to your room. Go back. yelled at her. She had no business looking at my business. OK, honey, you're right. But you know what? Let's think about Brianna for a second here, OK? OK. I think you should check on her. Just let her know you're not mad at her. Yeah, right. All right. Mm. Get dressed, though. Get out of here. But I need to update my blog. I don't care. Hey, hey, let the boy update his blog. You don't even know what a blog is. What? Hey, 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 don't be walking away from me up in my house. Go, go, go on back to work. The Taliban have it right. Cover up the whole face and all those things. What do you call them? A, a, a burkas. Yeah, at least for teenage girls. Jo hey, Joe, Joe, Joe. Jo let me talk to baby girl alone for a minute. But I need to change it to my pajamas. Sleep in your clothes. Aw, but it's my room too. You're gonna be sleeping in a coffin if you don't stop it. Aww. Get you in your jowl. Um, baby girl? Hi, baby. Hi. <clears throat> Damn, little piggy. I'm sorry about that. Listen, um, <clears throat> Baby girl, uh, you remember what happened earlier in the bathroom? When you yelled at me? No, before that. Oh, you mean when I saw you naked? Huh? Uh, what, what, Wanda? I can't hear you. I'm talking to baby girl right now about knocking. Baby girl, next time, just don't barge in and knock next time, OK? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, some of these kids are so talented. That's what I'm on. OK, be nice. <laughs> uh, uh, look at that sweet little girl hugging her mom. That would even peace with his dad. Yeah. What's baby girl? Baby girl made my privacy public. It's a good thing she wasn't working with Clay. Look at this. She can't even see. This is George. If it was mine, America. Oh, uh, popsicle sticks and birdhouse over there, real nice. Oh, oh, chop. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, <laughs> Ten o'clock, ten o'clock. What, 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 nothing. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah, no. Oh, Mr. Beck, please. Nothing to be ashamed of. The human body is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't a beautiful thing. I'm just saying it's not for everybody to look at. Trust me, America. It's beautiful. Well, we don't always agree with what they say at Wellington. And this is not the sort of thing that we do for show and tell. So ding-dings are bad? Ding-dings? Whoa, whoa. Now, as far as you're concerned, ding-dings don't exist. 
Yeah, they do. I see Jordans all the time. What? Jordan changes his clothes every day. Baby girl seen too, too many privacy for a nine-year-old girl. Hell, she might as well be handing out towels to the high school wrestling team. And that's a, a little bit too big for me. It's a matter of privacy, America. And this won't stand. What are you doing in my room? Correction, yours and baby girl's room. <laughs> oh, no way. I am not living with a baby. OK. Do you like Angelina Bellerina over here or over there? Get that out of here. You put it wherever you want, baby girl. It's your room, too. But this has been my room for three years. It's the last piece of sanity I have in this stupid house, and you can't take that away. Used to be my house for nine years, but you took it away from me, didn't you? Now that my room's so big, I made out a 40-gallon fish tank. No, 60-gallon. Then I could have a baby shark. <laughs> Why are you even in here? <sighs> well, that's what's good about having your own room. You can come and go as you please. It's pretty sweet making your own schedule. Get out. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll go to my own room where I can be alone. <laughs> Have fun with the baby. Do you really hate having me in here? No, it's not your fault, all right? You and Jordan are growing up, and you need your separate rooms. I just need a separate house. <sighs> My own private galaxy. wrong with you? What you doing on this doggone floor? What you doing in here? Where's Nessa? Um, in my room? Yeah, yeah, she kicked me out. Nessa! Nessa! What you doing kicking Joe out of his own room? What are you talking about? You have your room. That's where you sleep, get it? Ugh, I can't deal. You know, you always do that. You're always so quick to jump on me. And I'm not even the one who did anything. There's other people in this house, you know. You don't even know the whole story. Did you even bother to ask me? No, you didn't. So how can you come at me like that? You don't even know what happened now, do you? Why don't we add on a bedroom for Brianna? No. I'm not tearing up my house so Queen Vanessa have another room. No. Okay, well then why don't we just live with the current situation? I'm sure it's only gonna get easier. I'll let it get easier. Oh, get out! I'm trying to do my hair. You have butt hair. You get out! <laughs> Instead of tearing up your house, I think you should probably give up your den. Give up my den? Well, I gave up my office for Vanessa's room. I'm not giving up my den. That's my cave, America. You don't mess with a man's cave. That's sacred ground. Besides, she already got an office when she goes to the office. And I'm not going to lose mine. Man, women want every damn thing. Every damn thing, man. You can't have nothing. Give them this, they want that. Give them a little of this, they want that. Go and get you something there. I need a little more. Man, these women, boy. Okay. We're looking to add a bedroom for our niece. Yeah, nothing big. Maybe five by eight, no windows, and bars. Yeah, bars would be great. Well, that's easy. We'll get some three quarter inch rebar like hey, this. Excuse me, he's joking. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I forgot. King of comedy. 
That's a funny tape. Thank you. Really, just four, four walls and a roof, maybe. Bernie. But let me show you something. Okay. Um, you know, when it comes to construction, there's uh, three things that people want. They want a good, fast, and cheap. The problem is, you can only have two. Mm. So if you want it uh, good and fast, it ain't gonna be cheap. Mm. You want it cheap and good, it won't be fast. Oh. Cheap and fast, guess what? Won't be any good. See where I'm going with that? Yeah, yeah, I see. I say I'm getting screwed from all sizes. I'll tell you what, this guy can stick that triangle up his circle. You got any more shapes? Nope, <laughs> just the triangle. Then we'll take fast and good. Hold, hold, hold on, it, but if it's not cheap, what is it? 50000 $50,000 because I forgot to lock the bathroom door? Do you feel my pain, America? I know you do. I better get myself a party pack of Rolaids. Maybe they can sponsor the show or something. Help out. America, I got three more weeks of this bull. My beautiful house was in perfect shape. Now it's having an open heart surgery. All thanks to these doggone kids. But God willing, if I can survive this, I have peace again. Bernie, honey, come here! Say three feet back, you fit a whole new wardrobe. Yo, babe, what's up? Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, what you doing with my wife's clothes? <laughs> honey, we're just redoing the closet. I thought we were just going to do baby girl's room. Well, honey, since they're here, we might as well redo the closets, too. Right? Oh, Wanda. Well, listen, I'm, I'm no marriage counselor, but if a lady wants to redo the closets, you let her redo the closets. <laughs> you hear that? No, honey, I don't hear anything. Exactly. I don't like the sound of no sound. Good oh. to meet you. <laughs> but wait, what's behind your ear? A finishing nail. <laughs> Jordan, what the heck going on in here? I don't know. Magic? <laughs> That's enough, I say. And leave these guys alone. You all get back to work. <laughs> you heard the customer? Come on, back to work. Let's go. Let's go. Got to stay on schedule. On schedule. If their schedule is showing up late, leaving early, and watching magic shows, then yeah. They're right on schedule. America, they've been stringing me along. You in there? No, it's Bill. Bill? Probably gonna be a while too. What? Dusty back there, I couldn't sleep. Hey, I want you all play a game? Old maid, war maybe? Uh, how about a game called I'm gonna tell your uncle you're not in your room? Never mind. Hey, catch.
<laughs> It's over. Thank you, God. I've got to use the bathroom. No. I'm going to use every bathroom. Thank you, Lord. All right, everybody, bedtime. Let's go. Everybody sleep in their own bed tonight. Right, how'd that make you feel? That make you happy, baby? Why should I be happy? I'm exactly where I was a month ago, and they got new rooms. Oh, so I guess I owe you something, huh, Nessa? Yeah, how about some chocolate on top of your pillow? Better yet, would you love some room service, Nessa? We had a good run, didn't we? Yep, we sure did. Well, all right, that's enough. Everybody, let's go to bed. Let's go. Finally, America. Finally. Everybody's in their place. My money is another place, but that's a different story. But finally. <sighs> Joy. Does this smell sour to you? Smell like a beaten. Why aren't you in bed? I was just trying to help you not want to clean out the refrigerator. We'll need no help. Now close the refrigerator and go to sleep. I'm talking a lot of mess. Well, that deserves some ice cream. <laughs> Jordan, where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, come on, Larry. I'm going to be late for math class. Mm. Jordan. Oh, hey, Byron. Did you do your homework? Hey, I must have been sleepwalking. You better sleepwalk back up in there for this belt starts sleepwalking on you. You think I'm playing with you? Hey, 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 come on now. Everything's okay. Just go on back to your room. Sweetheart, I just don't get it. What more do I have to do? You know, this is a little different situation. You know, he's always used to sleeping with at least one sister. Mm. Yeah. Man, this is a nice looking room, don't you think? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm missing something. What? You stink. You gotta make it your own. Two masters and Fangy. I didn't put him up because Brianna was scared of him. Can you imagine that? Yep. Hey, I know you're getting used to sleeping by yourself and having your own room. That's a sign of growing up. Really? Yeah. You're gonna spend the rest of your life getting used to things changing. But how you choose to embrace those changes is what make life a little bit more fun. Yeah. I was thinking about changing this room. We put a couple shelves on the wall. Uh-uh, partner. No nails in the wall. I know this is your room, but these are my walls and my floor. Now, come on, big man. Get some sleep. Okay. No, she ain't playing that music with that dog in a while. Girl, you ready for school? Uncle Bernie, I'm not a baby. I'm a big girl now. You sure are. You have to knock before you enter. I'm sorry. Hey, big girl. Can I still get up? Look at Excuse me. You done lost your rabbit. 
No more baby girl. Huh. I'm here. Things are really changing in the Mac house. That's for doggone sure. Well, look, Brianna got on room. Nessa got on room. George slept through the night, though. I had to convince him that the vacuum cleaner wasn't no monster. <laughs> but the terrible thing is, I can see this ain't over. Not by a long shot. What's next, America? Talk to me. We tight. What's next? Thank you.